Here Yay! we are. <laughs> Welcome to the kitchen this morning. We're so glad that you joined us. And, and I've got some helpers here today. You know, this is almost Valentine's Day. That's right. And this is like the time where love is in the air. Love is in the air. Of course, love, God's love is always in the air. <laughs> but I'm right. talking about <laughs> your sweetheart, your honey. And so we wanted to do something special because this month our emphasis is on the country of France. And I thought about France for February because Paris is the city of love. You see all those pictures, the Eiffel Tower and the two kissing. Okay, so that's the premise. But there's a great hunger and a great need in the country of France that's for right. God. Right. And there is a revival going on there. And it's exciting. We're going to tell you more about that. But I thought that we would make our honeys, our, our sweethearts, something special for a Valentine's dinner dessert. And when I thought about France, I thought about, I say crepes, they say crepes. So we're going to make three different kinds. And I had to have some help because this is Kate. And she's helping us Yay. today, Kate Ulrich. And she's here. She's going to make our crepes for us today. Mm -hmm. And you want to go ahead and just tell us what's going into the uh, ingredients. So I've already cracked the eggs. And what you want to do first is mix the eggs up real good by okay. themselves. And then you pretty much just throw in the rest it's of the ingredients. Really it's so easy. No, yeah. it's so easy. Okay, um, just tell us what the other ingredients are. It's flour, okay. which you can substitute for any other kind of flour that you want. Blue there's free or whole wheat. Sure. Okay. Yep. And then there's milk, which we use 2%, but you can Could substitute skim for skim milk. or yeah. anything. Right. Um, a little bit of vanilla, a little bit of salt, and we have our melted okay. butter back here. Okay. But you can also use oil. I've seen them use oil. Yep. And you could use a substitute for the eggs if you wanted to. Right. So if you have those issues, you want to incorporate those. And we're making fillings now. We're going to be going back to her as she's starting to make them. Because you have to have that pan a certain temperature. Yeah, and you you, put, that's the key, is making the pan hot enough, but not so hot that it's going to you burn your butter. you put that pan before you put the The, the tiniest butter. little sliver of butter is all you need. And it'll, they'll flip right up and... No well, sticking. She's all, look at the one she's already made. I mean, she has been making these for us. <laughs> these are like wonderful. And you can make these ahead and you, you uh, put paper towel between them, stack them, put them in a Ziploc, put them in the freezer. When you want to use them, you bring them out like on a Saturday morning breakfast, something special, and you put them in a 200 degree oven for about 10 minutes and you've got your crepes fresh as can be. Sounds great. Yeah. Well, you know, there was a very important lady. Her name was Julia Child. She always told us how to put our chickens in the pan. So today we're telling you what to put in your crepes, okay? All right, what are you going right. to be doing? Well, whatever you tell me to do, okay. Julia Child. <laughs> okay, well, Julia said, forget a chicken, we're doing desserts. So we want you to make a black forest Ooh, okay. crepe. And this it consists of scoops of ice cream, and then there's a cherry filling. This is this warmed up cherry pie filling. She's going to put over top of the ice cream, shave a little chocolate, roll it up, a little bit of whipped cream, mm -hmm. and that's your crepe. Two of those Sounds on a plate, awesome. and you'll put a this. smile on your sweetheart's <laughs> face, I'll tell you that. Right. Now, what I'm going to make is, go ahead, you well, can you start. Want me to start? Yeah, go All ahead. right. Now, I have one here, and uh, these are very light. They're not filling, and I have all kinds of berries. <laughs> Excuse me. I have all kinds of berries, blueberries, blackberries, raspberries. How are we doing, Kate? Doing good. Whisking you, away. You don't have it in there yet? Nope, not in the, nope. The no. whisking takes time. You've got to make it smooth. Okay, well, what kind of consistency are we looking on the batter? I mean, it want, you want it to look almost, it's a little bit thicker than milk, but it's not very, you'll okay. think it's too thin, but it's not. Okay, so I'm still doing the berries then while everybody's, that looks wonderful over there. Oh, yeah. Okay, and I'm doing my variety. And then I'm going to drizzle with some honey. Okay. You know, I've been looking a lot at what's going on in France spiritually. What I have found out, there's a revival going on. And that the church has gone underground. There's a lot of people hungry for God. And I tell you what, God will not forget them or pass them by. He's aware. And, and you know... People think you have to have a big mega church for that to be like to reach the people in the country. Do you know that it, some, the, the fellow that the pastor um, 
at one of those churches. I need a, a pin here or you need, something. Just flip it over, honey. <laughs> just roll My and flip it over. Just flip out. it over. Here we go. You got it flipped. Oh, all right. Yeah. But this pastor of this church said, oh, you know, the French, what they need is about 100 um, those mega churches that have 10,000 members. And they come back and said, no, we need, we need 10,000 churches of 100 members because they can be all over the countryside of France and they can reach everybody. And I'm telling you, the hunger, it's not for the established church in France. God always has a remnant. And that remnant is alive and well in France. And I'm so happy about that. I'm thrilled to death to see that where there's a hunger, God always shows up. That's right. Well, you gave me some fun that facts That looks here. wonderful. Yeah, go ahead. Tell so me I some need other. I to tell them. So it says that the evangelism over there has been growing since the 1950s and that they have gone from 55,000 to 460,000 practicing Christians today. And then they have gypsy Protestants, they call them. I'm thinking these must be people who just move right. throughout the country that are about 70,000. Wow. But an interesting thing is a new church in France is opening every 10 days. Every and 10 in days. the last year, they went from having 769 churches to having 2,068 churches. Is that awesome or what? Amen. I'm telling you, you cannot quench the gospel because it's alive. It, it right. will never die. Heaven and earth can pass away. His word will never, ever pass away. And I'm ex Amen. Okay. Oh, we're doing them over here. Okay, one in the pan. And I'm making another one. This one is that incredible Nutella. I'm sure you know about it. Everybody's oohing and on. It's very good. Chocolate. <laughs> really bad. Yum. And we did a little bananas foster. This is just some butter, bananas, some walnuts. Put that on our down the middle. Not a lot. You don't need a lot. And then we're just going to roll it like that. We tend to want to over to overstuff them, and that's where we get the yeah. problem. Yeah, I did overstuff. <laughs> but you know what? <laughs> that would be like maybe we only need one. But it's okay. It's beautiful. It is. I, I love made it. it. <laughs> just so fun. But Julia then, Childs, I guess I am not Julia hurt. Childs said this is a little too much, honey, for the French. <laughs> but anyway, we're just, we're having fun here. And I hope, you know, of course, you know that the recipes are always posted on ctvn.org. Just go there, hit on the recipes. You can watch today's program in its fullness or the segment, and you can also get the recipe. And I hope you will. It's been fun. Thank you for doing our crepes. Sure we love thing. it. And thank you, Amanda. I love thank being Thank you, here. folks, for watching. Lord bless Julia. you. Guys. <laughs> All right, now we're going to take a little break, and we'll be right back. <laughs> Well, you know what? We're back here, and, um, and we have all our taste testers. So this is, you know, this is where it comes. <laughs> but I'd like just to show you what we have up there, how we made our, our fruit-filled, our banana foster mm -hmm. one, yeah, that's right. and then our black forest one. And, of course, we dip some. You have to have strawberries Which dipped in black chocolate. Forest? This the black one forest. It's not oh, the one I okay. made. They had to do a small version yeah, of it. Yeah, because hers was super, the hers super size. We had to put on a platter. <laughs> we didn't think that that would be appropriate <laughs> if you're going to spend the rest of the evening That's with right. your honey. Well, you know, today's word is that those who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Shall be filled. That's right. And so we're hungering and thirsting. Well, I mean, you would be filled if you ate that one. You'd be like, hello. <laughs> well, anyway, but I, I've just, oh, I wanted God. you to each have a taste. So take a fork. Okay. I've cut some up. This this is the fruit one, and this is the wow. banana foster one. Help yourself. Okay. Enjoy. Taste the way, Jose. Oh, I love like it. There's fruit in You can I know. I'm going to. Okay. I'm going to. I'm like, I'm Terry's like first. But I'm Terry's candid. always first. Terry's mm. all. Oh, oh yeah. what a well, guy. You know, I know right. it's Valentine's and all that, but we're he really is like this. We're to Valentine's Day. Oh, Valentine's Day. Yeah. Here, I'll hold it for you. No, uh, no, that's the banana one, right? Now, you know, these no, are the times a, when I feel, is cherry sauce? I feel is. sorry for our family at home watching us mm. eat these things, oh, you know. They don't get to taste I wish we could share it with you. You could get a bite. <laughs> Terry wish. likes it. Look at that. She's had I'm she, trying cherry, this one. She's moving pretty <laughs> Terry's, quick. Terry's the going. train's going. <laughs> very good. It's mm. the crepe train. But look how easy that was, wasn't it? Yeah, very and you easy. Them, it was very easy. And you can make the crepes very, and you can put them ahead of time and put them in the freezer. And that's just, do something special for that somebody that you love. That's right. Because you know what? 
their love always gets love always gets a response. Just That's like when why. we love God, He loves Would us. You like? Amen. Amen. Uh, there's something going on back I don't here. Know what it is. And, uh, what, what happened I, to our special guest? I wonder where Julia what, Childs what, went. She, Julia, you know? she took a day off because she's tired. So she said, I'm going to look for my chicken. I'll be back another time. Arlene, you know, it's always fun being with you. And now we're going to enjoy this yes. ongoingly. Yes. We abundantly. Are. Amen. You know, Amen. next, next, uh, and next. What, Oh, yeah, you go right ahead. Oh, no, no, go ahead. You do a fantastic okay, somebody do it. Somebody do it, hallelujah. In just a moment, we'll be praying for you and for all those who have been calling to our Can ministry center floor? with their prayer requests. <laughs> but first, let's see what's coming, coming up, up tomorrow, tomorrow on Real Life.